humans of Second Banana Society, my name is Mel and today you join me on my floor. This week's theme is letters. So currently I'm working on some letters to send some people. Um, and something that I like to do when I send letters to people is hand paint the envelopes because I enjoy painting and then it makes it more personalised and cool. So today I'm going to talk to you about letters and fun things. Um, while I paint an envelope for Holly. If you don't know Holly, she is on Spare Banana Society and she's pretty cool. Um, and I'm writing a reply for her at the moment. Um, and I started painting her envelope last night. This is what I've done so far. What? I still gotta do the back. So we're gonna do that right now. Probably not all of it because we don't have time for that because I have other things to do today, believe it or not. So yeah. I've already used blues and purples, so I might... I know. We're gonna need white, turquoise, and purple. I feel like I might have done that last time, so we'll add in some red as well. We'll stick with the with the swirls, I think. So... Oh, oh, that might be too much. That's okay. We can deal with that. I don't know. I just think it's real cool. Also, it validates your internet friend's existence even more if they're like sending you stuff and you're sending stuff back. It is pretty cool. It's exciting because I never get mail. And then when I started having pen pals and started sending things to my lovely friends um, from the internet, it was something, well it is something to look forward to. I feel like sometimes my replies are really early and really quick or super late because I like to, rather than just sending one individual letter, I like to send at least two or three at a time because, I don't know, it just saves time, I guess. And then you can just send them all at once and then you know when you send them all and I don't know. I guess like hand painting all the envelopes takes a lot of time and more time than it should but it's fun and I like it oh I could tell you some things that I send with my letters so usually I will send I'll always send a letter of course um, and I will usually send a couple of photos that I've taken I have I can show you actually I have an envelope that's just full of photos that I've printed out and they're all photos that I send to people, so I'll, I don't know, it kind of depends what else I'm sending, whether I send one, or two, or three. Usually I'll send three at the most, and I always send photos because, as you know, I love photography, it's like my favourite thing to do, so it makes sense. Also, all my pen pals are from other countries, so it's like they haven't seen a lot of the things that I'm taking photos of and that I'm sending to them. Which I think is very cool. Like when I go and print out photos for my wall, I will sometimes print out two copies, one for me and one to send to somebody else. So that's a fun thing. Um, what else do I send? I send stickers sometimes. I bought like a few packs of like New Zealand themed stickers that I have been sending to people. I also recently sent a few paintings that I had done, kind of in like a Polaroid kind of style. I sent those to a few people. They weren't the same, like they were all different, which I think is cool. I would rather send like pen pals and people things that I have personally done, like why I paint envelopes, because it's more, you know, it's more personal. And it's like a one-time thing rather than just like buying things that anyone could get. I like to send personal things like paintings and um, photos and that kind of thing. Especially because it's like, it's an individual thing, so like, I didn't paint the same thing like six times or whatever. The thing that I'm not good at sending letter-wise is starting letters. <laughs> like, I was the first one to send a letter to Holly and I was the first one to send a letter to Jacob and I'm just not good- I was the first one to send a letter to Lexi. I'm good at replies, I think. I'm like, yeah, I'm alright at replies, but starting it, I, I never know what to write, and I'm like, hey, so I'm bad at starting letters, but hi, I, ho I hope you're well, I, I hope you're, you're doing good. 
I recently had someone say to me, why don't you just talk to them, like, online rather than write, writing a letter and waiting, what, like, a month for a reply? It's not that I don't talk to these people, because I do talk to them. I miss, like, I Skype Holly a lot, because, you know, managing SPS and fun stuff like that. And, like, we talk a lot, and we Snapchat a lot. We have a Snapchat streak. We talk quite a lot. But writing letters and even if you already if you write what you've been up to and like the other person already knows that you've been up to that it's so cool mail is cool real letters are so cool and sure out of everyone that i write letters to there are some people that i talk to more than others that's fine because we are still pals conversations you can forget conversations if it's like over text or whatever what if you get in your phone what if you delete that social media like I had an old Facebook from 2013 until 2000, halfway through 2016 and I deleted that Facebook meaning that I don't have all those conversations anymore and I don't have all of that anymore. So half of those things I've like forgotten about whereas letters you can go back and read it whenever you want and it's just cool. Also I love seeing people's handwriting. I love handwriting. I just think it's cool and it's personal and it's for you and no one else and I love that. I love that so much. I have some of my leathers on my wall. Um, who's up there at the moment? This wall behind me, I change all the time when I get like new stuff or another letter. It always changes, I'm always putting new things up. I try and have one letter from each person, if that makes sense. So at the moment there's one from Lexi, one from Kay, one from Holly, one from Yasmin, and one from Keila along with some other stuff so yeah but all the rest I keep all the envelopes and all the letters I try and put the letter in the envelope that it like arrived in so I have them in a box and I just go through them when I'm like having a bad day I'm like these people think I'm like decent let me get it let me show you here it is here's a box of letters this is the envelope that Holly sent her letter and look how cute it is it's so pretty from Kayla here's one from Kay that's a letter that's not on my wall what? This one was from Yasmin. Look at that handwriting though. Look at it. Can't get it back in the envelope now. Ugh. Oh, this is one of my favourite envelopes. It's from Kay. It's so cool. Lexi, Kay, and my first one from Kay, which is cool. Uh, it was the thing that Yasmin's arrived in, so. Ah! Oh, oh, I love them so much. But that's what it's looking like at the moment. I'm gonna add some red. What else can I say about letters? You should write letters to people. Sometimes I come up with weak themes, but like, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the theme. I'll just be sitting somewhere and Lexi will message me and she'll be like, yo, you need to do the weak themes. And I'm like, yikes, what is in front of me that I can make a theme out of? Like literally, when I was coming out with the themes for April, I was just like writing a letter. And so I was like, fine, I'll make one of the themes of letters. My favourite thing is when a letter from somebody arrives when I'm having a really bad day. Like that happened with Holly's letter that she sent me. I was feeling so awful that day. And I went and checked the mail and there was a letter from Holly there for me. And I was like, oh my gosh, perfect timing. It's also happened with one from Kay. Just receiving letters from my pals it makes me so happy man all right i don't want to paint the next part until i put my address my, my return address or whatever from it um so let me show you what i've done i've done that but i don't do too much on this bit but my details go here and i usually do just like a little bit of detail around here otherwise it just gets too much but yeah holly you can expect this soon what Something that I forgot to mention is that I always, always put confetti in my letters. So I'm now going to go. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, let me know your opinions on sending letters to people down in the comments below. That would be really cool. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you back here next Thursday. Thanks for watching. Bye.